Hey guys, Pankaj here. Welcome back. So in today's statistics, we are going to learn measure of variability. Okay. So in previous video, I talked about measure of central tendency using mean, median, mode, right? So similarly, under descriptive statistics, we have measure of variability, which can be measured using uh, three different categories: range, and variance, and standard deviation. Okay. So let's see what are those and how to uh, interpret the result based on those values. So let me share my screen. Okay, so here is the topic measure of variability. So as usual, we are going to import libraries numpy as np, matplotlib, and c1. So to display the data and load some uh, default data set. So first we'll see what is range. So what it is basically, it's the difference between the largest value and the smallest value. It is the simplest measure of variability in the data. So let's say you have large data set and in that you would like to see what is my minimum value and what is the maximum value so that can be and what is the range between those right so that is what uh, we measure using range so we can do simple uh, mathematics here uh, take the maximum value and subtract with the minimum value so it will show the how data is spread and what is the value okay so let's go ahead and load some data set so as usual i'll create a data frame of sns load data set and i'll use iris data set you guys have already seen so i'm going to use same thing so df dot head three so it has sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width and various species of that flower okay so i'll uh, as usual i'll just pick petal length so let's see what it is df dot petal length Okay, so if you see the value, right, it has a lot of uh, uh, observations. So zero to one forty nine, total one fifty observations are there, right? So in that, let's say if you, this is your data set. Okay, in that data set, you would like to know what is my minimum value, what is my maximum value, and what is the range between those two values. Okay, so that's where range uh, concept will come into picture. So what we can do, so in the numpy we have mean and max function, right? We are going to take the same by using df dot petal length. Uh, dot let's say min and you can subtract from max to min or min to max and if you are subtracting uh, from min then it is going to provide a negative value right so we can take the absolute value to get the positive value df dot petal sorry petal length dot max okay so as usual this is going to show negative value because you are subtracting from min so i'm just going to take apply one absolute function it is going to give the value okay so 5.9 is the range between min and max value so you can just check quickly what is your minimum value here so min is one and max is 6.9 6 that's what you got a subtracted, subtracted value as 5.9 so this is the range so what is still basically mean between min and max value we have a range of 5.9 okay so that's about range and now let's talk about variance and standard deviation. So what basically it tells? So variance is a numerical value that describes the variability of observation from its arithmetic mean. I'll show with the help of picture also. And how far individuals in a group are spread out. This is the main definition of variance. How far individuals in a group are spread out. Okay. And this is the formula. So I'm going to explain what it is. Okay. So let me open whiteboard now. Okay. So let me just take a grid. So let's say you have a normal distribution. Okay. So what is normal Gaussian distribution? I'm going to talk in the next video, but just for timing, assume that. So let's say you have data, which is Gaussian normal distribution. I'll talk about this. What is Gaussian normal distribution? Okay, there is a concept behind that. But for timing, you just remember I got the data which is Gaussian normal distribution. So any data which is following the Gaussian normal distribution, their distribution will look like this. And this is known as bell curve. Because if it is following normal distribution, it will exactly look like a bell. Okay. 
now in this kind of distribution your mean will always be at zero okay this is your mean and your standard deviation will be let's say one minus one then you have minus two then plus two and then three and minus three okay so this is your x-axis and this is your y and this we have already seen right what it is basically probability density function these are nothing but your probability so this will be from zero to let's say probability cannot be more than one right zero to one okay so let's say zero then point one point two point three up to point nine and one okay now so when you talk about variance right what it is telling basically how far your data is from mean okay if your mean is given as uh, let's say zero and since it is following the normal gaussian normal distribution so mean will be zero and your standard deviation will be one okay so how far the data so let's see the definition once again what is telling? how far individuals in a group are spread out so how they are spread out basically from the mean okay so this will be like your uh, here if you see the distance right from mean from here to here it is one right from here to here it is two and this can go from uh, both the side positive and negative from here to here it is minus one from here to here it is minus two from here to here it is minus three okay so now if you take about the distance right from the mean so what they're going to do they are going to subtract the mean right so we will take the value let's say you have data set x equal to x1 x2 x3 x4 up to let's say we have x50 right this is your data set okay so from each data set you take the mean so mean we have already seen uh, it is a summation of all the values xi where i equal to 1 to n and divide by n correct so and this will be your mean okay now to calculate the variance what they have to do basically you take each value and subtract the mean from this this is your mean okay and divide by what is that let me just check once again of course so divide by n total number of values and here just put i equal to 1 to n and this will be your square why we are taking square i'll just tell you and this is your formula okay so this is what we have seen here divide by n i equal to 1 to n so how to read this formula basically summation of all the squared mean it's why what i why i am saying square mean because you are getting the data which is spread uh, the positive side or negative side when you take the distance right so one will be let's say plus two and another will be minus two to make them absolute value you are just taking the square okay so this will be called squared mean okay so take the each value and from each value uh, subtract the mean and complete summation you divide by total number of observation okay that's how you get the variance so that is what I was showing here. So again, let's reiterate. Take the summation of all the values where i equal to one to n. Take each value and subtract uh, uh, mean. Okay, so whenever you subtract, it will be positive side, negative side as right. To make it positive value, we are taking the square, and this is nothing but variance. And variance is represented in the form of the sigma square. Okay, variance. So this is your formula for variance. I'll show you how to get using the uh, NumPy uh, functions. Okay, you can easily get, but you just remember that take each value and subtract each value from uh, the mean of complete value or mean of population, or if you are taking sample, mean, mean of sample, subtract it and take the square, sum them all and divide by total number of observation. That is what is your variance. Okay, so now coming to standard deviation, Standard deviation is a measure of dispersion of observation within the data. Okay, how much or uh, what it tells basically how much observations of data set differs from its mean. Okay, so what exactly it means basically. So let me go ahead and take another. Okay, so I'll go back and take it, draw same data.
So let's say you have got the data and this is your following Gaussian normal distribution. And here is your mean equal to zero. And this will be your standard division one, standard division two, three, and this will be minus one, minus two, minus three, correct? So whenever you talk about standard division, right? How, how much data or total, how much data is spread from mean where standard deviation is equal to one. So when I talk about one, right? So total this much data is a spread exactly by standard deviation one, okay? So standard deviation is always the square root of your variance, or I can just say variance. And variance we saw, right? It is represented as uh, sigma square, and where the value are like one, uh, i equal to one to n x of i, minus mu and square, okay? So this is your standard deviation and this is your variance, okay? So variance, standard deviation is telling how much data, how far data is spread from the mean where sigma or the standard deviation is equal to one or sigma, let's say if sigma is equal to two, right? So standard deviation is equal to two, how much data is spreading? So basically you take this calculation and total this much data is spread from the mean where sigma is equal to or standard deviation is equal to two. That's how we represent the data, okay? So how much observation of data set differs from its mean? So it tells basically the quantity. Always remember, standard deviation tells the quantity, how much data is spread from the mean. And variance is telling how far, okay? Because it is measured as a square distance, right? So that's what it is telling. Variance is telling how far individuals in the group are spread out from the mean, okay? And standard deviations are always tell what is the quant total quantity of data which differs from its mean by standard deviation by one, two, three, and so on, okay? So that is a difference. So remember guys, these things will be very helpful whenever you get the data. So let's see how to calculate this. So I can calculate the df dot petal length dot where is the function which is returning variance and square root of this is nothing but standard deviation. So either you can do df dot petal length dot std that is standard deviation, or you can do square root of this, right? So I can just write sqrt of you no know, np dot. I hope it is existing square root of this. It is going to be same. Okay, so just remember the formula and this is going to help you. So whenever you draw the data or uh, distribution, right? This will be easily uh, telling you how much data is, you know, uh, different from the mean. So you can easily calculate the total quantity. Okay, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show you about this measure of variability using range, standard deviation and variance. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye.